And it's a night of high winds and rain in East London for this London derby in the Women's Super League between West Ham United and Tottenham Hotspur. The home team looking to move away from the foot of the table. Tottenham hoping to move alongside the likes of Manchester United and Liverpool towards the top end, just outside the Champions League places. A big night as well for Rian Skinner, the West Ham United manager, facing her former club. She did so much to improve Tottenham. Now she'll be hoping to beat them here this evening. Both clubs have been busy in the transfer window so far, and we will see evidence of that here this evening. But getting to grips to the weather conditions may be the first challenge for both teams. And only one change for West Ham from what was a promising performance against Chelsea in the FA Cup. Shalina Zadorski is on loan from Tottenham, so can't play. But Hawa Suzoko is available again following suspension. There's a Women's Super League debut for Australian international Katrina Gorey, while US veteran Kirsty Mewis is on the bench. And Robert Villaham has, ro has rotated following the dramatic comeback victory over Sheffield United. Amy Turner is back in defence alongside Anghara James. Olga Ajanen and Grace Clinton will be in midfield, while Martha Thomas, who scored the winner against Arsenal, is alongside captain Beth Mead in attack. And new signings, Charlotte Grant, Matilda Vindberg and Amanda Nielden are all on the bench. And our referee here this evening, Stacey Pearson, who scored a hat-trick for Yeovil in their first ever game in the Women's Super League a decade ago. And then she chose to take up the whistle. And is now one of the top officials in the Women's Super League. And it's going to be an interesting night for the match officials as well. West Ham will believe that with players of the quality of Katrina Gorry and Christy Mewis in their team, that things will improve. Gorry, an Australian international, signed from Swedish football during the transfer window and had real success in the United States with Kansas. And Martha Thomas, of course, made history for Tottenham with that winning goal against Arsenal at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And she has always been a reliable striker when given the opportunity. And of course, the same goes for Beth England. Meeting with Mackenzie Arnold, the captain of West Ham. Promises to be an interesting night for the goalkeepers as well. teams changing ends which may have a good deal to do with the conditions at the start of this match and the forecast suggesting the weather could become even more of a factor the longer the evening goes on West Ham looking to build on a good recent run against Spurs. Although in both of their victories against their London rivals, Dagny Brynjars Dartia scored in the games, and of course she's currently unavailable on maternity leave. It's West Ham who get this London derby underway in the Claret and Blue, looking for their first home victory of the season, defending the goal away to our right in the first half. And it's quickly won back by Ashley Neville. And now Snurler 
for West Ham. And we have had squally showers all afternoon in London. And the wind has got stronger and stronger the longer the day has gone on. As West Ham try and build now with Hayashi. And it was an interesting ball forward and Uwaiki was on the move on the edge of the penalty area. And she's pressing hard again with the help of Asai. Suzoko wins it back on two occasions. Snurlet, she can let fly here. And it was blocked by Molly Bartrip. Never will clear, but it's quickly returned by Shimizu. And West Ham have the throw in. And the wind is really swirling around the stadium. West Ham do appear to have it in their favour during the first half. Arnold gets help from Hayashi. Tiziak gives the ball away and then Spurs do get the free kick for the subsequent challenge on Grace Clinton. Clinton is always such a busy player in midfield. And any set piece in these conditions is going to be a test for defenders and goalkeeper. Evelina Summoner will take it. Ball is cleared initially, and then the shot from Artinen is blocked. Bartrip. Clinton. England peels away to the left. Clinton, though, may look to go alone. Now she has support from James. And she was looking to pick out Bizet. And it just breaks down at the crucial moment for Spurs. And Robert Bielaham had real success in Sweden with BK Harkin. Left them at the top of the league to move to Tottenham. And eventually they were beaten by Hammerby on goal difference. And you could just see that ball moving there as Arnold looked to try and take the set piece quickly. Summonen. In towards Clinton again, but here is a sight. And the high ball in behind, almost picked out the run of Uaiki, but He's gathered by Barbara Votokova. And there is no Rebecca Spencer in the Tottenham squad this evening. Summonen. <laughs> Molly Bartrip reunited with Amy Turner at the heart of the Tottenham defence. Is Neville and Tottenham may be wisely choosing to try and keep the ball on the ground. Bizet, Martha Thomas in support, back towards Bizet, but a good challenge from Kirsty Smith. It did seem there for a moment that Spurs had just managed to unlock the West Ham defence down their left-hand side, but Kirsty Smith to the rescue. 
James with the throw in. England. Controlling the channels once again, so Thomas makes her way into the centre. England again. Martinen, Summonen. And now Clinton turning well and scoring brilliantly. And Spurs make light of the weather conditions with a very well-constructed goal. Grace Clinton with her third of the season. And the youngster on loan from Manchester United showing her quality once again. Very good football on the edge of the penalty area. And then the turn. And a finish which gave Mackenzie Arnold absolutely no chance. High quality goal from Tottenham. And they ping the ball around the edge of the penalty area. West Ham were chasing shadows. And Grace Clinton able to apply the finishing touch. The player who was promoted from the championship on loan at Bristol City last season. And she's already been around the England squad and with finishing like that, she will certainly be on the radar of Serena Wiegmann as Martha Thomas looked to chase forward. Summonen, now Neville, Clinton again. Artinen. Tottenham coming into this game with four wins, three draws and only three defeats. And after the problems they had during the previous campaign, there's a much more solid look about their results. And of course the odd spectacular one, including that victory against Arsenal. And there's been a degree of inconsistency away from home, of course. A big defeat at Manchester City and also the 4-0 loss at home to Manchester United but a win here tonight and they'll be level on points with Mark Skinner's side as a mistake is made on the edge of the penalty area by Votokova and she really got away with one there. Uwaiki was in the vicinity but unable to capitalise. Gori. Hayashi, but it's won back by Thomas, quickly forward by Summonen. But now Hayashi once again. He scored that crucial late, late equaliser against Leicester for West Ham. Their two most recent points have come very late in the day against Leicester and Liverpool. Barbara Votokova. The Czechia international almost caught out there. The ball swirling over the head of Bar Trip, and she was rather fortunate. Just got something on the ball. Now Ueki, and it was deflected, and it will be a corner kick. Enrico Ueki is. Come up with three goals so far this season. She scored the late equalising goal against Liverpool. Amy Turner was in the way. And the corner kick. Had it wide in the end. Vivian Asai was challenging at the near post. An early problem for Brian Skinner to try and solve here. And she was dismissed by Tottenham after nine successive defeats. And she's become the first female coach at West Ham. And she was appointed 
fairly late on in the close season following the departure of Paul Koncheski. And it's taken time for the manager and the team to find themselves on the same page. Suzuko. Clinton again making the challenge. But Spurs have been much more effective in the opening stages, trying to keep the ball on the turf, whereas West Ham have taken the aerial route at times, and with the wind so strong, there's just a lack of control when that happens. They almost got lucky with the mistake from Votakova. Suzoko. Smith has won the throw in. Gori. Now Tiziak. Suzoko. It was blocked by Bizet. Smith. And the cross in. Almost causing an issue, but here is a sight. Able to ride the challenge of Thomas. Cross was overhit. And Shalina Zadorski on the right there, watching on. Made her West Ham debut on loan from Tottenham in the FA Cup last week. Ineligible for this game, but the Canadian international will bring so much experience to this West Ham team and. She always had the trust of Rianne Skinner during her time at Spurs. England. Now Neville. Clinton making the run forward again, but... Shimazu able to cut that out. Thomas. England. Oh, just bobbing over the head of Bizet. But Neville again. <laughs> Stacey Pearson becoming involved, so we resume with the drop ball. Summonen, all the way back to Botakova, who has been the backup to Rebecca Spencer for so much of the season, but played in the victory against Arsenal, not really helped by that back pass there from Turner. James. Rather neatly, Spurs play their way out of trouble. Thomas. Artinen. And here is Neville again. She almost played in. Beth England. Snurler with the turn, and she was caught by Summonen. The Dane taken out by the Finn. Suzuko in towards Asai. Gorey, Smith, Luanke will chase. I'm not sure anybody got a touch there. Bartrip. Playing into the teeth of the girl. Tottenham choosing to try and play out on every occasion. Artinen, but now they can break. And it was Bizet who was almost in. She was just caught there. And she chased that ball through. Suzuko. 
it's been given away by Shannon Cook. Clinton. And now James. Turner. Sign from Orlando after having a good spell with Manchester United, which included promotion into the Women's Super League. This is only her second start of the season. Lovely touch from England. And Thomas knew she was offside, but England isn't. And Beth England continues, and Arnold makes the save. West Ham have given the ball away again. England almost found Thomas, and Clinton will be penalised there for taking out Tiziak. Beth England with two goals in the FA Cup last week against Sheffield United. Looking for a first of the season in the Women's Super League following injury. Scored twice here last season on the final day. Oh, Sissoko did just enough. Goal scoring has been an issue for West Ham, only eight so far this season, the lowest total in the Women's Super League. But here is Snurla. Hayashi, Smith with the cross, which travels a long way before Neville clears. Thomas. And it was given away initially by Martinen, but Spurs always seem to get bodies around the ball in midfield. Sissoko, now Smith. <laughs> Shannon Cook, who came through the academy at Arsenal before heading to the American College game, played for the LSU Tigers. That's becoming an increasingly familiar route for players in the Women's Super League and elsewhere around Europe. Hayashi. And now Smith. Good covering now from James. And now Hayashi. And looking down the West Ham squad sheet, they do have players who will not be happy at all with their league position. Only above Bristol City on goal difference. And a big game coming up next week when the bottom two meet. Say. Another player with a real pedigree. Won the Frauen Bundesliga in Germany with Bayern Munich. Snurler. And Asai has scored goals, but all three of her so far have come in defeats as Neville invites the challenge and gets the goal kick. Snurla making her first start of the season in the Women's Super League, having recovered from a broken foot. The previous goal came against Spurs on the final day of last season. Thomas shall take on Tiziak. Tiziak did just enough. 
with the help of Shannon Cook. And when Tottenham do go long, of course, the ball will hold up for them. And then Uaiki with a late challenge. And someone had really felt that. And there will be a yellow card for the Japanese international. Uaiki on the stretch, but the follow through catching Summonen. And the studs were raised. Yellow card in the end. And the look on Evelina Summerland's face really says it all. Grace Clinton with the opening goal so far for Tottenham. And they really worked the ball around well before Clinton had a real sense of awareness. And it was a smart turn away from the challenge. And then an excellent finish. West Ham against Spurs has become quite a rivalry in the Women's Super League, as it is in the men's game. And West Ham have really enjoyed their relative success against Tottenham in recent years. Spurs will regard this as a real opportunity tonight to pick up the away victory and move into the thick of the race outside the Champions League places. And the challenge for the Champions League a couple of years ago really began to falter after a 1-1 draw at home to West Ham when Katie Longhurst a born and bred West Ham fan scored an equaliser right at the end of the game in a 1-1 draw and one of the more memorable goal celebrations in the Women's Super League Artinen James, good challenge though from Smith, and that's been a good tussle so far on this near side. Turner will tidy up. And Roykova's distribution has improved after that difficult moment. Here is Clinton again. James. Artinen. Clinton. It's another clever turn and another decent effort, but this time it's kept out by Arnold. At the moment, West Ham are not closing Tottenham down in that sort of situation to prevent the shots on goal. And now an opportunity for Bizet again. But the cross is blocked. Gori with the long ball forward. Asai doing well to bring that ball down. Uwaiki in support, but Asai goes for the curler. 
and it's a comfortable save in the end for Votokova. But West Ham do have two lively strikers who are beginning to strike up an understanding and with better service they've already shown that they can produce one or two moments of difficulty for Tottenham in this game. Only Bartrip steps in. So we'll have to try and play this as the wind gathers strength. Hayashi. Gori involved once again. Player who has won national titles in the United States, Australia and Canada. And a very good signing for West Ham in their current situation. Asai. It's another good run forward, but it was claimed well by Votokova. Vivian Asai once again is working hard, often some way from the goal, to try and produce something here for West Ham. And when the Hammers do have Mewis, Gorey and Zadorski all in their team and all fully match fit, there is the prospect for Rian Skinner of much more consistency in performance. Now James. And Turner will go all the way back towards Botakova once again. Tottenham continuing to try and play out and West Ham's press is beginning to just creep up the field and cause them one or two problems. Suzoko almost won it back, but it was a heavy challenge on Bizet. And Suzoko, who is just back from suspension, now receives the yellow card. And she often believes that her reputation does precede her at times, but that sort of challenge is always going to result in a booking. And she has got some time to try and manage that booking during the rest of this game. England. Losing out, Suzoko. And here is Asai once again. Gori. And it's Beth England coming back to make the challenge. Hayashi. Cook. And that was asking far too much of Risa Shimizu in conditions like this. Katrina Gori did start the FA Cup game against Chelsea when West Ham led for a long time before Chelsea eventually forced extra time and went on to win the game. But there was a good deal of defensive resolve from Rian Skinner's team. Players like Gori will certainly add leadership. Suzoko. Now Asai again, look at his spin away from James. Smith. 
And it was claimed well by Votakova. And footballers will often tell you that wind is the worst of the elements for them to deal with, and that's certainly the case if you're a goalkeeper. Won that well by Shimizu. Gori, Asai. And she went down under the challenge of Turner. Snurler. Neville was in the way. And here is Thomas. But this is a good spell for West Ham. Gori again. And now Suzoko. Both teams with four attempts on goal so far, but Spurs with all of the efforts on target. They've had three, including the early goal from Grace Clinton. Hayashi, Uwaiki, and now Smith. Ball holding up in the wind once again. Crossfield balls like that will always be difficult to deal with. And in the end, West Ham have given away the free kick. Ryan Skinner just having words with Amy Fern, the fourth official. James. Waiki is back, helping out her defence. Gori. And now Hayashi. Suzoko. Under pressure from Bize. And in the end, that pressure leads to. A Tottenham throw taken quickly. Thomas Smith was in the way. But the clearance only finds Summonen. Artinen allowing the ball to run for James. Turner. Summoning again, and Pizze was almost knocked off her feet by the pace of that ball. And the wind is blowing across the field from the far side, so that ball would have gathered pace as it headed towards Selim Pizze. The side. Doing well to get in behind Turner. Needs support. And in the end, it's cleared away by Bartrip. And it breaks down for West Ham at the crucial moment once again. And it was Turner who just got the ball caught under her feet. Vivian Asai was away there. And two in support, but it was well read by Bartrip. Uaiki in towards the near post. It's allowed to run, and there's the equaliser. And that's a big moment for West Ham. A team with so few goals this season, but Uwaiki did really well to play the ball on. It was helped on by a sight. And that was a clever touch. And it was Shimizu who came in to apply the finish. 
Reza Shimizu, who has played every single minute this season, comes up with her first West Ham goal. In the end, it was almost a block challenge, has never looked to clear. But West Ham are level. Clinton looking for the quick response. Thomas. And Riza Shimizu, the Japanese international who won 14 major titles in her home country with Tokyo Verdict chose to move to the Women's Super League and she scored in one of the most significant games in the calendar for her club and here's another opportunity now Gori with the effort and it's comfortable for Vodakova West Ham have been growing in confidence. Of course, they were rocked by the goal from Grace Clinton. The seventh time this season that Tottenham have scored from outside the penalty area. And that's the most in the Women's Super League. But now, the two strikers combining. And it was the fullback who stole in to bundle the ball home. Here is Summoner. Now Artinen. Robert Villaham will be really disappointed with the manner of the defending there. Not stopping the cross from Uaiki and allowing the flick on from Asai. And although Neville got there first, Shimizu. Managed to close down the clearance and the ball ended up in the back of the net. Uwaiki looking to chase once again and Votokova not taking any chances. Gori. Now Smith. Ayashi. Smith again. And it's all West Ham at the moment. Both teams deserve real credit because at times it must feel like they're playing in a wind tunnel, but it's been a really good game. Clinton. And now it's lifted forward towards Thomas, but that ball will always gather pace. And missed the goal again. Nice turn from Uwaiki. Asai. Just helping the ball on and Shimizu arriving to divert the ball away from Neville and it looped up over Votikova. And that's a big moment for her and her club. Clinton. Now Neville. Clinton again. Again, that's a sweet turn from her, and the cross in towards England, and that wasn't too far away. And she appreciates the work of Grace Clinton in the build-up. At times, West Ham can't get nearer. And Beth England will always thrive with that sort of service. goals last season for Beth England in a team which was struggling for long spells Neville solid challenge from her and she finds Martha Thomas and Thomas with the effort turned aside by Mackenzie Arnold and Martha Thomas showing her mobility once again 
solid challenge from Ashley Neville. And now the ball in towards Clinton, but smuggled back by Suzoko towards Mackenzie Arnold. And there's a problem here for Gorey, who was caught by the challenge, I think, by Ashley Neville. Yes. Nobody won more tackles in the Women's Super League than Ashley Neville in 2023, and she's started 2024 in similar vein. And Katrina Gorey not happy about the nature of the challenge as she hobbles off for now, and she receives a yellow card for descent for her pains. She believed she was fouled, and in the end, she may require further treatment here. The play will resume with a drop ball. Gloria has joined Howard Suzoko in the book. Of that yellow card for the Australian international. <laughs> now, an opportunity for BJ and Tottenham back ahead. And West Ham caught out by the long ball. And Robert Villaham's team haven't taken long to retake the lead. From the throw-in. Helped into space and Bize managing to find herself on the wrong side of Smith. And it was Clinton who scored the first. She made the second. Really good finish from Selim Bize. Her third of the season, and it's 2-1 to Tottenham. And they have dominated so many facets of this game, Spurs, in the first half, but... Rian Skinner's side really shocked them with the equaliser, but they are quickly back ahead. And the Hammers were level for less than five minutes. England. Neville. That will be cut out by Hayashi. Smith. And she runs straight into James. England. James and now Bizet in plenty of space Thomas waits in the area and it will be brought clear by Shimizu and it's all the way back to Botakova She's not really tried to go long all night with a goal kick, and now she does, and it was cut out quickly by Smith, but then one back by England, Thomas. Bizet. And we are into added time at the end of what's been 
A very entertaining first half, a minimum of five more minutes. Summonen. She was taken down late, so it will be a free kick. Tottenham with more of the ball, more efforts on target. Shots on target during the first half. Rian Skinner will be disappointed her team could not at least get to half time on level terms, having worked so hard to equalise. James. Gori. Now Hayashi. Uaiki. Gori again. Smith across in towards Hayashi. And eventually, Spurs will clear. Bize. Clever touch from England. Here is Clinton. Thomas in space to the right. But the pass doesn't find her. Good defending in the end by Tiziak. Suzoko. Gori making the challenge, but in the end, Spurs have their first corner right at the end of the first half. Grace Clinton has been the player of the first half, but just needed a bit more precision there. She also had Neville unmarked to the left. And she will come forward now. And at 20 years of age, Grace Clinton looks to be a real talent with a very good career ahead of her and the corner kick is helped away by Uwaiki Clinton back out towards Artinen the cross is a good one and it should have been 3-1 by Beth England standards that's a really poor miss Martinum with an excellent ball in and Beth England on so many occasions during her career as below the back of the net in situations like that but lifting it too high on this occasion England, of course, had a long spell out at the start of the season due to a hip injury. Only returned in December. But she came to the rescue for Spurs last week. There were two goals down at home to Championship Club Sheffield United in the FA Cup with only 20 minutes to play, but she came up with two goals and the winning goal right at the end from Rosella Ayan, who was on the bench this evening. Waiki, the player who went down there for West Ham. Spurs also have a player in some trouble now. And with 30 seconds of added time to be played, Stacey Pearson just halting play. And it's Selim Bize who looks to be in some pain. Of course, half time is imminent. Bise may be able to continue without treatment. She 
challenged. Waikie there and seemed to be caught in the aftermath. Now Asai goes down inside the penalty area, looks towards the referee, no penalty given, Gori. And a goal kick has been given, and Gori just slamming the ball into the turf, does need to be careful, already booked for descent once in the game. And Asai there, tumbling his sheep, trying to go beyond bar trip inside the penalty area. Not sure there was enough contact. Snurler with the flick on. And both players were holding on to each other. But that's half time, and in the circumstances, both teams have put on an excellent 45 minutes. Grace Clinton with the opening goal for Spurs. The equaliser from Riza Shimazu, but Selim Bizek breaking clear to give Tottenham the lead once again. And at half-time, in the wind and rain, it is West Ham United 1, Tottenham Hotspur 2. And she's back out, she did have that injury problem during the first half. She was booked for dissent for complaining about the challenge by Ashley Neville, which wasn't penalised by Stacey Pearson, the referee. Tottenham leading by two goals to one, get the second half underway. In the dark blue shirts, attacking the goal away to our left. And Clinton involved early on, now England, but it's Gorry who comes away with it. And West Ham will be playing into the teeth of that gale in the second half. Summonen. And the cross lifted in towards England, but claimed by Mackenzie Arnold. And how was Izoko back in the West Ham team, but the recipient of a yellow card along with Katrina Gori. Enrico Uaiki. And Tottenham, who made five changes from the FA Cup victory against Sheffield United. And all of them have been justified so far. Clinton. Now England. Quickly on to Thomas. And she's isolated to Zoko, who's been drawn out of the centre. And Thomas is beyond her. Goes down, but I think stumbled. Neville. Clinton. And she's used the ball so well in the game. And it's on towards Bizet. And it's blocked by Arnold, it will be a corner. Very smart football again from Spurs. And this was the decision. Thomas claims she was just nudged over by Suzoko inside the penalty area. Well, there were hands on the shoulder, and the question is, though, was it enough to bring the player down? Corner kick swirled right in towards that near post area. And now Clinton with the shot. And what a finish from Grace Clinton. And the team with more goals from outside the penalty area than any other side in the Women's Super League this season have come up with another. And it's a second in the game for Grace Clinton. Well, there's some talk here between 
Stacey Pearson, the referee, and Nicoletta Bria, one of her assistants. And the goal's been given. And it's the perfect start to the second half for Tottenham. Arnold fisting the ball away initially, and then it came out to Clinton. And the question is, was the Spurs player just in front of Arnold, obscuring her view? She certainly believes she was. With Hayashi's clearance picked up by Clinton. And there was a Spurs player right in front of the goalkeeper, but the decision of the officials was there was no interference and the goal was allowed to stand. Stacey Pearson did go to talk to her assistant and then made the decision. Mackenzie Arnold claiming that her view was obscured. I suppose the question is, would she have got anywhere near the shot from Clinton anyway? Well, that is a real hammer blow for the Hammers right at the start of the second half. Here it is again. And it was Amy Turner who was trying to head back into an offside position. Watch the ball whiz beyond her. It was a brilliant finish from Clinton. But Arnold will claim and has claimed she was unsighted. Clinton on a hat-trick. Thomas involved. Almost fell for Bizet. Now Summonen. And Spurs here looking to be ruthless. But the flag is up for offside against England. Well, West Ham are certainly aggrieved at the man with the third goal. Here it is again. It was fisted clear. And then Hayashi just losing the ball. And we can see there that Turner was trying to head back through the middle of the penalty area. Mackenzie Arnold looking towards Nicoletta Bria to say, I couldn't see. But the goal has been allowed to stand. And it's a long way back now for a team with only eight goals previously this season and only one point in five home games. Snurler. And now Thomas. Back to Votakova. And it must be such a bonus for Tottenham to have goal-scoring midfielders like Grace Clinton, but Rianne Skinner may be looking to her bench now. Does have the pace of Emma Harris potentially to throw on in attack. Shimazu looking for Uwaiki, who delivers the cross in, Asai, and in the end it's swooped on by Votakova. And when they've had the service, both Uwaiki and Asai have done well. Taken down superbly by England. Now Bize, Thomas waits in the centre. A bit shepherded behind by Suzuka. Well, 
Well, Salim Bize scoring the second goal. West Ham look to try and play out, and they've given the ball away. Hayashi. Suzoko. And that will come straight back. Neville. She looked to work the one two. West Ham do concede the throw in. Clinton. Now Thomas. Games between West Ham and Tottenham have always been pretty tight since they were paired together in the Women's Super League, but Tottenham will believe here they have the opportunity to really send out a message. Gorey. And Sissoko forced back towards Mackenzie Arnold. Cook. Here is Shimizu, who briefly had West Ham level during the first half. Uaiki. Now Asai. Plenty of Claret and Blue in support, needs to be a good cross, but it heads behind in the end. And Asai has been such a willing runner in the wide areas for West Ham. Maybe just a second there, Botakova. May have had concerns about the cross dropping over her head. Spurs are making changes. And Martha Thomas heads off, and Jessica Naz will come on. And Amy Turner also comes off. And Ramona Petzelberger will replace her. Formerly with Aston Villa. Her last goal came against Tottenham. A dramatic late winner. A couple of seasons ago. So confirmation of those changes. Spurs will shuffle around their back four to accommodate. Petzelberger and Naz, of course, Naz will go up front. Scored three times in the WSL Cup so far this season. Two of those came against Arsenal in what was a very entertaining 3-3 draw in the group stage. But she's not scored in the Women's Super League since an 8-0 victory at Brighton last October. And Tottenham followed that with nine successive defeats, which led to Rianne Skinner's departure. Smith. Both Uweke and Asai were waiting in the centre, but it will be a corner kick. Only West Ham's second of the game. And it's played short, delivered towards Suzoko. And now the pace of Naz on the counter-attack. Petzelberger to her left. Ihanen, and it's deflected just behind Beth England. It will be a corner kick.
strength of the wind indicated by the corner flag on this near side. And Spurs are playing with it in the second half. So corner kicks could create some real fun and games inside the penalty area. West Ham deal with this one, Neville. Petzelberger. She just loses her footing. Here is Gori. Tiziak, Petzelberger back on her feet. Shimizu not helped by the pace of the ball. And there will be a double change, a triple change for West Ham coming up soon. Waiki. Just clipped by Neville, it will be a free kick. And Waikki has continued to work really hard for West Ham, often some way outside the penalty area. Smith going short, Hayashi. And she made a present of that for Clinton. And in the sort of mood she's in, she won't need a second invitation. Petzelberger has gone into a defensive midfield role, so Evelina Summonen has dropped into the back four in the absence of Amy Turner. Shimizu. <laughs> and now West Ham will make their changes. Denton, the first player to come on to replace Shannon Cook. Denton had a spell in the United States with the Louisville Cardinals. Emma Snurler also makes way. And we are about to see the entrance of Christy Mewis in the Women's Super League. The United States International. And Jesse also coming on. And Jesse will replace Honoka Hayashi. Uwaiki in behind Neville. And it's a decent, decent cross in, oh, it's her own goal! Evelina Summonen with a lack of communication between herself and the goalkeeper. Asai was also in there. And West Ham are back in this game. Well, Asai will claim it. Uike finding the space in behind Neville. And it was a good cross in. Summonen had to deal with it. And it was Asai who did get the final touch on the goal line to make it 3-2. Summon and guiding the ball beyond her goalkeeper. And Asai, who never stopped running, was in the right place at the right time. And West Ham are suddenly back in this match. The 
The fourth goal scored last week against Chelsea in the FA Cup. All of her three previous goals have come in losses and she will hope that trend is about to end here tonight. And that goal really came out of nowhere. And just after West Ham had made their changes, although none of the players who've come on were involved in that. And it will be fascinating to see how Christy Mewis does. Wearing number 15. Won the NWSL title with Gotham. Has featured for six clubs in the United States. Stroke of luck there for West Ham that they will hope will turn the game in their favour. Shimizu. And now Suzuko. And Summonen who was Push back into that central defensive role following the departure of Amy Turner. And it was a difficult ball in from Uaiki. She had to try and do something. But in the end, all she did was teared up for a sight. But neither defender or goalkeeper were really on the same page. Mewis beyond the challenge of Artinen and it's still Mewis and it's deflected behind it will be a corner kick and it's suddenly a very different game and Christy Mewis leaving two Tottenham players standing there and she will take the corner kick you do in a situation like this almost needs someone to hold the ball in place for her because the assistant is helping out with the flag and the ball was moving there but she whips the ball in pulled away by Votokova kept alive inside the penalty area by Suzoko and now Clinton will eventually clear Confirmation of those West Ham changes. It was a very busy spell in the game. Before any of them, I think, had touched the ball. West Ham were suddenly back in the match. Now Denton. Asai. Gorey. And the early cross into the penalty area this time is dealt with. And Katrina Gorey is having more and more of an influence on the game, but here is Clinton, still full of running. Patzelberger.
James. Neville. will gather pace with Tottenham playing with the wind and it will be another opportunity for West Ham to try and build here Interesting that three of the five goals so far have been scored by teams playing into the teeth of this gale. And now Bar trip. Not comfortable in trying to find the goalkeeper with the wind gathering pace. Gori taken down by Clinton. It will be a free kick. The experience of Gori really coming to the fore for West Ham now. Lewis over the free kick. And it's her delivery. Tiziak! 3-3. And Christy Mewis with her first with her first assist in the Women's Super League. Amber Tiziak with a towering header. And once again, it was Summonant, the stand-in central defender who was beaten in the air. And Tottenham, who were 3-1 up and cruising in this game, have suddenly been pegged back. And that's a great header from the Belgian defender. And now Mewis. And Smith was looking for a sight and was set for a great final 20 minutes here. And the shot from Zoop. And it's blocked by Petzelberger, but West Ham in the ascendancy. Only eight goals before this evening. Three goals in 70 minutes as it's dropped by Botakova. And in the end, she claims at the second attempt. And Tottenham must be wondering where their ascendancy has gone here. Here is Clinton. You feel there are plenty more goals in this game. Naz with the cross in. Cleared as far as Clinton. And it was blocked by Shimizu. And it will be a corner. Grace Clinton looking for the hat trick. And it was fired in. And it was Tiziak in the end who got the touch. And the corner kick headed out towards Petzelberger. And now Clinton again, it's another good strike, and this time it's just wide. Well, both teams will believe they can win this game now, and Clinton not too far away from a hat-trick, and what a hat-trick it would have been. Denton. Kept alive by Gori, but only briefly. And 
Gorry has had a really good second half. And alongside Christy Mewis now. That looks to be a very good combination for West Ham to move forward, whatever happens in the rest of this game. And it's back again towards Botakova, Neville. Martinen, Clinton, Naz ahead of her, here is Bizet, England waits on the edge of the penalty area, the cross is allowed to run by Denton initially, then she realised that Clinton was coming in, but Spurs will have the throw in. Neville, and it comes to England! And it's blocked, and it's Nas! And Tottenham are ahead once again. A first WSL goal of the season for Jessica Nas. And in one of the games of the season so far, Spurs lead 4-3. It's her first goal in the WSL for 15 months. The first shot from England was blocked and then Naz with a very good finish. And once again, Mackenzie Arnold left helpless. And Jessica Naz with a goal which will mean a good deal to her. She scored twice in the North London Derby this season in the WSL Cup. And now she's come up with a big goal in another London Derby in the league. And with 15 minutes to play, this game takes yet another twist with Spurs leading 4-3. Now, West Ham will try and respond again. Gorry's throwing. And it's a game which has turned out to have almost everything. Denton with the throw in. Uwaiki looking to burst into the area, but Petzelberger is there to clear. But Uwaiki looking to quickly win it back, but Neville ensures it will be a goal kick. Marie and Skinner must be wondering when a team are going to really buy a break this season. They've worked so hard to come back into the game. And she made the changes which were telling, but once again, defensive frailties have let them down. Petzelberger. Clinton. She's unable to gather. Denton. And support from Zoo. Mikey also in space down the right, but Neville again will try and ensure it's a goal kick, and that's what she does. Well, an interesting figure watching this game tonight. Sam Kerr, of course, currently unavailable due to her ACL injury for Chelsea and here is Gorey oh it's off the post well the Australian almost coming up with another equalising goal for West Ham
And it was Gori who let fly. And she was so unlucky. And was that West Ham's chance? Now Clinton. Zoo working hard to try and win it back. And Sam Kerr, the partner of Christy Mewis, so she's here to watch her debut for West Ham. And it's been an impressive one so far. Gorry, and that could be a real tester in these conditions. Asaya, the player who went down. Appeals for the penalty, but nothing given. Petzelberger. Clinton. Looking for Naz. And she's offside. And this was the penalty claim. There was all sorts going on inside the penalty area. It may have been that a site collided with Smith. Earlier on, Uraiki was tangling with Bartrip inside the area as well, but in fairness to West Ham, there weren't too many appeals. Oh. Spurs have made another change. Selim Bize replaced by Matilda Vinberg, who was making her debut in the Women's Super League. Now Petzelberger has been bowled over. Confirmation of that change. England. Well, here is Smith. Forced wide by James. And in the end, England is able to clear. Matilda Vinberg. Swedish international. Signed from Hammerby, the Swedish champions. Scored seven goals in their title success last season. Can West Ham produce one more moment to remember in this game? Neville. Clinton. Clinton again, a real contender for player of the match with two goals and an assist. And Shimizu just doing enough in the end. Leanne Skinner. Needs to get her team to keep believing. And in fairness to them, there's been no lack of belief throughout this second half. Falling 3-1 down, coming back to equalise, but then falling behind again. But Robert Villaham will be hoping that's the end of the drama. But it's been a day of high scoring right across the Women's Super League. Summonen tangling with Zhu, but no free kick given. But now there will be as Petzelberger goes down. Tottenham having made the most of their reprieve from Jessica Naz will be hoping that they can manage this game more effectively now James oh, 
Hovindberg was involved for the first time. England. She was caught by Suzoko, but the play continues. Tiziak. Now Zhu. And she goes down, but play is allowed to go on, but not this time because Uaiki has also been tumbled by Molly Bartrip, and it will be a yellow card. The first one for Tottenham this evening. Zhu was the initial player to fall under Clinton's challenge, and then Uaiki was. Heading towards goal, but this a set piece in a really good area with a player like Mewis on the field. And she looking to cook something up along with the site. Two really good set piece technicians here over the ball for West Ham. But it's Mewis who curls it, and in the end, it swings well wide. Never really got the angle. West Ham are making more changes. How is Suzuko heading off as they try and find? An equalising goal once again, Emma Harry's coming on, the former Reading player. Well, she will obviously go and attack and try and use her considerable pace. Hasn't scored a goal yet for West Ham in the Women's Super League after Reading's relegation. And Tottenham have given the ball away. Harry's involved for the first time. Challenged though by Clinton. Gorry. Mewis was involved. Uike on the edge of the penalty area. And Tottenham's defending, not convincing, but they do get the ball away. Shimizu. Denton. There is space on this near side for Harris, and she delivers the cross in, and Votakova did well to judge that. And Votakova with the wind behind her. Looking to get the ball as far away from her goal as she can. Aitinen. One back though by Mewis. And now Asai. And Summonant was caught late there by Asai. And it will be a free kick at least. And a yellow card. For Vivian Asai. Someone and got there first, and then she was really cleaned out. And we are inside the final three minutes. England. It's remarkable, we've had seven goals in the game, and... She's not scored any of them. Gorry. Still time here for West Ham. Uaiki, and it's deflected off someone, and it will be a corner kick. Riku Uaiki has had such a good game. And she's been at the heart of so much of what West Ham have done going forward. Smith will take the corner kick. 
once again the ball is moving all over the place for it. Sadly, kicking tees aren't allowed. Although maybe tonight there wouldn't be a bad idea. And it's a good job those flags are spring loaded. Technically, the ball shouldn't be moving when you take a corner, but it may be here. In fact, it was. And it was headed away at the near post by Summerland for another corner kick. Short this time. Gorry. Looking to pick her way through to the byline. She has done. And it was sliced behind by England. Another corner kick. As we head into the 90th minute. Can West Ham produce a final flourish here? Once again, Kirsty Smith doing her best to try and place the ball. Now it's driven in, headed away by Clinton. Gorry unable to really get any sort of pace. Shimazu. And Neville just took the ball out of play. And then she kicks the ball away, so. That technically is not allowed these days. As we head into added time. It's been a remarkable night, Denton, and there will be a minimum of six more minutes. Plenty of time here for West Ham. Zoo. And she's quickly closed down by Arteden. Spurs having to work really hard here to see this game out Beth England is heading off and she's been heavily involved particularly in the goal for Jessica Naz and Charlotte Grant comes on to make her debut in the Women's Super League. Scored a goal in London against England last April for Australia. Signed from Swedish football. Tiziak. Now Shimazu. All the way back to Arnold again. West Ham need to try and get the ball forward here. Tiziak does that, but it will come straight back. Summonen. And there was almost space there for Vinberg inside the area, but the challenge comes in from Gorey, and Tottenham will have the corner. They look to finish things off here. And it's been a great effort from both teams, considering these conditions. And it's played short, and Tottenham just looking to manage the clock here. Now Clinton, and it will be claimed by Mackenzie Arnold, but her clearance goes straight out of play, and a big game looming now for West Ham next week.
Away to Bristol City, the two teams level on points at the bottom of the table. They do have a trip to Birmingham first in the group stage of the WSL Cup on Thursday. Tottenham will be away to Southampton before they meet Manchester City next week. Well, they scored five today, Tottenham have scored four. And of course, Manchester City scored seven against them at the Academy Stadium earlier this season. Mewis, it's another good cross in. Uwaki was challenging for it. And West Ham do have the throw in. Gorry just about kept the ball in play. Denton. And it will be a goal kick. And the rain now is as heavy as it's ever been this evening. But Grace Clinton with two excellent goals for Spurs and also provided the assist for Selim Bizet to make it 2-1 just before half-time. And then just after half-time, what a strike. <laughs> Neville clears. Naz. And now Grant on the break. All alone. And Tiziak goes back towards Arnold. Play has been halted here. And that's because Molly Bartrip has an issue with cramp. But it will lead to more time being added on. As we tick towards the end of the initial six minutes. But Grace Clinton certainly deserves to be on the winning side here. And Spurs will be moving level on points with her parent club, Manchester United. If it stays like this... Shimizu. It's helped on towards Suaiki, but... Once again, it's cleared, and Shimazu will have to go all the way back and goes behind for a goal kick in the end. And it's probably a good job this game is about to come to an end. Shimazu. And West Ham have not quite been able to come up with the big chance to try and equalise for a third time. And Tottenham do have the free kick. And they look to have done enough here at the end of what's been a dramatic evening. Bartrip, left for Summonen, Neville, hammered to safety, Vinberg in pursuit, Tiziak comes across, and Spurs have West Ham exactly where they want them here. And that's it. And at the end of a remarkable evening, Spurs have finally come through to beat their London rivals by four goals to three. Grace Clinton, the star, with two goals and an assist. But West Ham came back brilliantly from 3-1.